Well, hello, Jeff Puppin. Hey, hello. How are you today? Very well. Just eight. That's a good idea. Tell me where you are. <laughs> I'm in the Hyatt Regency in Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. The, the, it's a wonderful place. Absolutely wonderful. And you're doing many different things on your farm, I hear. Uh, I have a diversified farm. Mm -hmm. uh, about okay. 50 head of cattle and have about 10 acres in vegetables. Oh, there you go. Okay. Now, of course, what I'm really interested in is how did you get to where you are now in your life? In other words, when you were a child, did you know that you were going to do what you do now? Uh, no. No. Uh, my father was uh, born and raised on a farm in Kansas uh, at the, around 1900. And he spent much of his early life uh, in academia, uh, getting a, becoming a doctor of mathematics. Mm -hmm. And he ended up at Peabody University in Nashville, Tennessee, and then got a better offering at Northwestern in Chicago. And so, uh, <clears throat> although my sister was born in Tennessee, the rest of us were born up near Chicago. Mm -hmm. But uh, before I came along, he had some sort of epiphany, and he decided he wanted to get out of academia and become a farmer again. And so I grew up on a farm, and my father was a nursery man and had an organic garden. And people say, well, I grew up on a farm, you must have learned how to do farm work. And I said, no, <clears throat> I was your typical teenager. Mm -hmm. I did everything I, I learned every possible way to get out of doing farm work. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of young people yeah, so yeah. did that, yeah. And, uh, but uh, I uh, uh, was influenced by the uh, love and peace movement of that era, 60s, mm -hmm. and uh, it seemed like the most logical thing to do would be to uh, grow my own food and not really be a part of the system. That, mm -hmm. uh, we were all wanting to change. Mm -hmm. So I've spent the last four years uh, trying to learn how to grow food. Yeah. So in other words, from the teenager, what, in, in other words, what age did you decide to, because you said, uh, I mentioned before, about uh, music, that you were interested in music. Right, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, I thought we were talking about uh, my hobbies is what you're interested yeah, in. Yeah, no, no, we're talking, about, <laughs> I, we're talking about a little bit how you got to be a farmer again, because, you know, like you say, your father was a farmer. Yeah, so... Uh, and were the actual turning points in your life that... Um, well, I, I would say that uh, the, the music certainly influenced the generation that I was a part hello. of. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Hi. Hello. Oh. And sort of just the idea that uh, we could become... Uh, take care of ourselves and mm -hmm. uh, be uh, empowered, self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. We could live uh, cooperatively and not necessarily have to be so competitive. And, yeah, yeah. Um, and that people were inherently nice. And yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, uh, from your, yes. from your like, 1920? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, so my brother bought a farm when I was 16, and mm -hmm. I moved on it pretty soon after that, dropped out of high school, and just mm -hmm. moved down on a farm. It, uh, seemed like the logical thing to do. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I lived without electricity off the grid for 25 oh. years and every meal we cooked was on a wood stove and we milked a cow and, oh, there you go. and just learned how to take care of how ourselves. Yeah. 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 It was a very uh, idealistic lifestyle. There you go. And, uh, yeah, and then uh, I would sold some grafted fruit trees and sold trees and things like that. And then, uh, <coughs> you know, gradually started selling vegetables and so for about 30 years I've been selling uh, vegetables and and of course people love it I'm sure people like vegetables yeah yeah well probably 20 years ago I started having people living with me to, to learn yeah. what I was doing yeah. And yeah at that point there in the early 90s I started writing a newspaper column mm-hmm my uh, uh, friend Jim had started a newspaper in Red Bowling Springs, and he said he'd like me to write for it. And I told him, well, I'm not a writer. Yeah. So then after a few months, he said, well, Jeff, I'll give you $10 if you write an article. So I wrote an article, and we called it the Small Farm Journal. Uh -huh. And I did this for about six months, and he uh, 
told me one day, he said, Jeff, you know, I really do like your article, but I'm going to change the name. The name is not very uh, and what ju was, journalistic. It was what, what was the name? Small Farm Journal. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he changed it. He said, and I said, what are you going to change it to? And he said, we're going to call it Barefoot Farmer. There you go. Yeah. And so that became like a pen name. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So a few years after that, uh, a TV show started running programs about us, and we have a TV show. On uh, public television mm -hmm. in Tennessee, mm -hmm. and because of this exposure, I guess uh, I started getting asked to, to give talks and things like that, and lectures. And then I've gone out, and started a consulting business. And I, I go and help other farmers. Other get farmers started. to yeah. to get started themselves. Yeah, yeah. I take so. my tractors and my manure spreaders to <coughs> other places and just take along and make a make a garden. How did you get into, did you actually then get into biodynamics at some point? Uh, well, yeah, so <clears throat> uh, part of uh, what happened in the 60s was something called the Whole Earth Catalog. Do you remember those? I've heard of it. Yeah, so it was just kind of a catalog of kind of cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, and there was a section in organic gardening, and there was a a book in there called Agriculture by Rudolf Steiner, and one called Companion Planting mm -hmm. by Tom Fulbrook, and one called Bees mm -hmm. by Rudolf Steiner. And my mother bought these books to give to my father yeah. back in the early 70s. Mm -hmm. And uh, So 45 years ago, oh my gosh, 40 years ago. Yeah, so uh, huh? then when I got my farm, uh, I was using some of these ideas, and uh, it was, I think, in the... Oh, early 80s, that, that that book ended up in my hands again. Yeah, yeah. And I, uh, I had uh, visited a few farms that were using the biodynamic method, and they said that you didn't have to believe it for it to work. It's not no. a faith-based thing. So well, I, you find out once you do it. Oh, so I tried it, and uh, didn't really notice much difference until the following May. We noticed that our potatoes had kept so well. And we scratched our heads trying to remember what we'd done the previous year. Uh -huh. We remember that uh, biodynamic stirring and spraying and stuff yeah. that we'd put on our compost. And so we yeah. thought we'd do that again. And so soon after, I started making my own preparations. And I've been um, making preparations for 30 years. There you go. <laughs> so now, now of course, now you, 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 what you do now is you still go around different places and, of course, you were a speaker here at the at the conference. Yeah, so. I've never spoken at a biodynamic conference before. They had me speak. But need, that needs one. to be done. So. <coughs> yeah. yeah, but mostly I, I just I farm. I have uh, yeah. tractors and cows. And, and of course, food. people come to your farm and they learn at the farm? Yeah, there's a lot of people who come to my farm. It's yeah. a very yeah. public yeah. place. <laughs> yeah, and of course, I've seen things on, on the normal media. Uh, and, and of course, on the internet, you know, you you do pop up. <laughs> I pop up. That's why they call me popping. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, I really thank you, and I'm pretty sure the YouTube family will absolutely love what you said, and maybe go and do something like that themselves. Well, I encourage so. everybody to. Uh, there you go. Plant a garden if you can, or at least. There you go. And come and visit you. Come and visit you. You're more than welcome. All right. Come see me. All right. Take care, Bye. and thanks a lot.